Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host Rob. This video we're going to do our Walking Dead Season 4 episode preview and we're going to look at episode 14, The Grove. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, uh, obviously a very exciting episode on Sunday. Beth is probably the big deal here, her being kidnapped. And I got to say, I'm really hoping that Daryl doesn't give up on all hope again now that Beth is gone and decides to go roll with this group. Because I think that's a bad deal for him. These guys are not good guys. Uh, obviously, they're the guys who were in the house with Rick. Thank you for all those who confirmed that for me on the last video. I had a strong feeling they were, but just didn't want to say 100% that that was done without being 100% sure. So thank you guys for pointing that out to me. You know, one thing I didn't mention on that review either is Glenn. So now we know that Glenn has seen the sign to the sanctuary. Very likely he will head there too. I'm sure he's going to think that uh, Maggie is there and... It looks like really the only two left, and then that's just speculating. I mean, we have no guarantee. We don't know if Glenn's heading there. I'm just assuming he's going to. If he does, then that leaves Beth and Daryl. And the question is, what becomes of Beth? Now, I don't think she got kidnapped by the guys who ran into Daryl. Because if you remember, Daryl's running up the road, and you know he's huffing, he's puffing. I mean, he's obviously exhausted. The car is long gone. So... I don't. I for that reason alone, I don't think it's the same group. I think this group that that ran into him, the one that were in, were in the house when Rick was in there, I think that they are just completely separate. I think the other group or the other people, whoever kidnapped Beth, obviously they have ties to that place. You know, the funeral home or whatever it was. They're obviously the ones who were, in, in my opinion, they were obviously the ones keeping it up. Whether or not they set it there as a trap. I don't know. There's some people who are speculating that as well, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. You know, they might have just been pulling up to check on the place, and they saw Beth and just grabbed her, thinking that maybe she intruded and brought all the walkers to the to the house, which obviously they wouldn't want, considering they've maintained it, considering that they have um, goods there, you know, uh, food and stuff like that. Now, the preview episode, or excuse me, the, the little trailers they've been showing, I, I, I know there's three... And I've seen two. The one that I haven't seen, I heard, is one with, I guess, Tyrese sitting uh, on the side of the train tracks with uh, with one of the girls and someone's approaching him. That's all I've heard. So that one I haven't checked out yet. But I did see the one after the episode, which I hate to say this, and I hope, you know, they always make things look a certain way. So what it appears to look like is that Carol's going to let Mika die. Now, I don't see that happening, considering how much Carol seems to want to be close to these kids. That's just how it appears. But that's not always how things turn out. And we saw another one, which this one they showed. I was watching, I like to watch The Talking Dead as well. And I saw that today uh, on on demand, because, you know, right after I watched the episode, I started working on my review and stuff. So I watched The Talking Dead, and they showed another uh, clip for next week's episode. And this one was really weird. There's like, they show the inside of a kitchen, you know, a house. It looks very well maintained. There is a teapot boiling on the burner or on the stove, whatever. And as they pan around the kitchen, slowly you can start to hear the teapot whistle. And you look outside and there's a little girl, what seems to be a little girl, playing tag or playing catch me with a walker. Very, very weird. Very, very morbid looking trailer. And you don't see anything else. Uh, so, next week's episode, I mean, three left. Everybody's heading to the, uh, the sanctuary except Daryl, who's now going to be rolling with the outlaws. <laughs> and Beth, who seems to be in, in a very bad position right now. Now, do the hunters play into this? And if so, how? I don't know. I don't know. Again, I've seen signs of them. You know, during the episode when her leg got caught on the bear trap, that to me was a was a highlight or, or a little tease that potentially a tease at the hunters. But I don't know. 
I don't know because I know that there is a character in the comic book that is somewhat like a, a deranged priest. So when I saw the car drive away with the cross on the back, and then considering that they're in a funeral home and there's a, I'm thinking that might be him. So it may not necessarily be the hunters. And if memory serves me correctly, the the name of the leader of the hunters in the comic book, I believe, was Chris, and not was this guy's name John or something like that. So now they can change all that. They, these guys could very well be the hunters, and they could very well be recruiting Daryl to hunt with them, knowing that he's got a crossbow. He looks like he knows how to handle himself. He's obviously on the road by himself. They don't know his backstory. So for all they know, he's been on his own for as long as forever. So it could be that they figure they see strength in him, they see potential, and they want to recruit him, obviously. If they turn out to be the hunters, you know, I hate to say this, I don't think they will go this route. But Daryl would be a pretty interesting hunter because, you know, I mean, he's eating squirrel. He's, he's straight up redneck. He doesn't say anything to him can be food. You know, the pig's feet, the snake. Uh, in fact, I'm even wondering if those are pointing in the direction of him going that route. I don't think they'll do that. I, I think that would really, really upset the uh, Walking Dead fans that are huge fans of Daryl. But it's it's an outside possibility, but that's only if these guys are the hunters. Or it could very well be, happen that when Daryl finds out they're cannibals, if they're cannibals, then he can say, wait a minute, this is not how I roll, I gotta get out of here, and then, who knows. Now, as far as Beth, I... You know, usually when you have a breakout character, a character has a breakout episode, and... The episode uh, still was supposed to be her breakout episode. Usually, several episodes later, they get they croak. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen to Beth, but right now, it looks like it's leading in that direction, but we don't know what's going to happen. What I do hope for is that if they do plan on killing somebody else off, they don't do the normal last episode of the season, here's your send-off, someone else dies. You know, we've, we've seen that before. We saw it with Andrea, saw it with Shane... So, I'm not, I don't want to see that again. Uh, in fact, if they didn't kill anybody else, I'd be perfectly fine with that. Herschel, in my opinion, was a big enough loss already. But, uh, you know, I really think the, the show, well, I, it's so obvious now that it's, you know, I'll just be repeating myself over and over. But obviously, all of them heading to the sanctuary and meeting up there, that's going to be the end of the season. I mean, I, I said that even before the second half started, that that's where I see that happening, and, and that's how it's turning out. Not too good that it's that predictable, but again, uh, you know, these guys can only be on the road so long. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is that when you're on the road in the zombie apocalypse, your chances of survival are slim to none. You got to have a place where you can have a community of people to help each other, defend each other, go out on f hunting for food or gathering supplies. You can't do it on the road, s sitting in the forest every other night with walkers surrounding you. It just, it won't happen. It would become too unrealistic if they did this for a long period of time. So, But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's it's overall, it's been a great season. I will admit I like the first half of the season better than the second half. But that doesn't mean the second half is, is bad. I mean, I think this second half is much better than season three. But uh, we'll have to see what happens. Right now, Beth is probably the one that's in the best position to die, unfortunately. And Daryl, uh, you know, now that Beth is gone, that was kind of his emotional, his emotional anchor. And now that he doesn't have that, and now he's going to be under the influence of a group that's very bad, you know, it may very well, let's not be surprised if Daryl goes down a bad road and, and the only way back for him is to come to a decision where if Rick meets these guys again and he sees Daryl there, Daryl's got to decide, do I go back with Rick or do I stay with these guys who I've been rolling with for God knows how long? And of course, that's all speculation once again. But it would make for some interesting TV and some interesting writing. So let's see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode preview. Definitely looking forward to The Grove, episode 14 next Sunday. You can expect my review. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy.